Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Hi, I'm Matt with appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to be working on this Samsung dishwasher here. The customer's complaint is that it did not finish the cycle uh, after the load was done. Uh, basically there was still some water sitting in the bottom and just the quick plus light was flashing. Uh, that's going to indicate a long drain error. Uh, we have checked the garbage disposal, made sure that the punch was knocked out, the drain line is clear. So we're going to get access to the drain pump to see if we're getting power. Uh, if we are, then we are going to replace the drain pump. You will need the following tools before you begin this repair. A Phillips screwdriver, long nose pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now that we've got the unit uninstalled and laid on its back, the first thing we're going to do is remove the bottom access panel. There's two Phillips screws. That will need to be removed. Once those are removed, it's just tabs that are going to be holding this in place. You can go in with the flathead screwdriver. Once your panel's free, just going to rotate it down and you're going to disconnect your harness for your leak detector and set that off to the side. All right, to remove the drain pump, there's a little locking tab right here. And you're just going to go in with the flathead screwdriver and just pry it out just a little bit. And you're going to be basically turning the pump counterclockwise if you were looking at it. So you're going to be rotating it this direction. And then the pump will pull away. You may have a little bit of water in there, so have a towel ready. And then you've got just your two connectors here. Uh, you're going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to depress the tab on your spade connectors. This one has one, you just can't see it. Remove those and we'll set the old pump aside. All right, now we're going to go ahead and install our new drain pump. Just going to reconnect the power wires. Doesn't matter which wire goes to which side, you're just completing a circuit. Once those are connected, all right, then you're just going to go ahead and maneuver it up inside the cabinet here. Once you can get it to drop into place, I'm just going to rotate it clockwise until your tab locks out. Make sure it's fully seated. And now we're going to go ahead and put our bottom cover panel back on. All right, now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our bottom panel here. Going to connect our harness for the leak detector. Flip it up. You got a couple tabs down at the bottom, and then just kind of roll it forward. Press it in place. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and reinstall our two Phillips screws on the access panel. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and set the unit up and hook up our electrical connections and water supply, and that's going to complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.